you for joining us here on the Neutral Zone. I am Phil Milani, joined as always by my trusty sidekick, my partner in crime. Well, I, I, I messed that up. I was supposed to say esteemed colleague. It's <laughs> at Eric Dalla. It's my everything. You reverted back. I know. For that's a long time okay. listeners of the show, that's the old intro. The old intro. Yeah. We're, we're, we're a little off our game. A little today. throwback. Yeah. I think it's because I'm a little nervous because Ben Swanson is back in the studio. It's an honor and a pleasure to finally be with you two once again. I bet people thought I was never coming back. Though. It was months. It's been, it's been months. <laughs> it's been months. Yeah. You've emerged from the hills. <laughs> you've come down, and uh, you've got your sl- summer flannels on. I'm back to polo. Yeah, back, back to, to polo, polo stripes. Yeah, polo back to stripes. stripes. Yeah. Of course, it's the summertime. It's more re- relaxed around here a little bit, you know. That's why I'm also a little thrown off just because. We're in relaxed mode. Just used to working so hard that yeah, exactly. This is a little just bit different. A little bit off. Yeah, it doesn't feel quite off. right. Yeah, exactly. But uh, we got a nice show in store for everybody. That's the one constant around here. That that never wavers. The show's always good. Uh, today we're talking about Sean Payton a little bit. Mm. Eric, whenever you, whenever we're out and about in town, you among love the you people, love this little narrative. When we're out with you, the people. You Eric, love it. You know, just walking in the streets. People are shouting <laughs> your name. When you're just walking, I know you are a big fan of, like, 16th Street Mall. You're just walking <laughs> around. You go to the movie theaters there. <laughs> you're just, like, walking. Yep. And uh, people are like, ah, Eric, buy everything. Yeah. They're yelling at you. And then when you talk about the Broncos to them, they're like, what's it been like with Sean Payton there? That's true. How? What's changed? What's How's different? everything better? It's diff. It's diff. So when that happens, people are saying, we're optimistic about Sean. I love what he says to the media. We love what what he's been messaging. We love how he's handled things with Russell Wilson so far. That's what everybody's saying, Eric. You get your haircut, Eric, they're talking about Sean Payton. You know what I mean? That's just everywhere you go. You've got like a magnet on you or these people. Sean they see someone that's the size of one and a half people, and they're like, I got to go up to that guy and talk about Sean Payton. And I'm dressed, like, in full Broncos gear, like, from head to (laughs) to toe. Bright orange. That also helps, yeah. Orange pants? Yeah. Orange shirt? Yeah. A ball cap, of course? Orange hat. I I usually paint my face a little bit, too. (laughs) Yeah. 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 It just says (laughs) DenverBroncos.com. People don't know you initially, uh, I think, interviewed to be Miles. Yeah, I lost that to another guy, Eric, uh, did more cartwheels. Than a real me. horse. Yep. Yeah, a real horse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That was tough competition. It was. Anyway, talking about Sean Payton, today we want to answer the question, which player will benefit the most from having Sean Payton as the mm. head coach? And I'll tell you what, I got a little bit of a surprise answer. I, I Let's do, just say that right now. I don't believe you. <laughs> I'll, yes, say I do. I'll say that right now. I have now. a surprise answer for you. Okay. Okay. I have a surprise. You, we'll get to uh, it. There's a lot of thoughts you might be thinking right now. Naming guys, rattling them off. I got a surprise. I know one how you me. write headlines. I so got a surprise I think, one. I, think I, I think I know who it's going to be. It's a surprise one. Okay. I already got Sean Payton in this headline. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> That's good. That's what people like. So, uh, you know, the other way that people communicate to me and to you. It's through this show because it's an interactive <laughs> podcast. That's right. That was a tremendous transition. You there. like that? Uh, there's many ways to get involved, Phil. You can leave a voicemail at 707 Neutral. You can leave an email at neutralzoneshow at gmail.com. I think there's there's hundreds of emails just sitting in there. Piled that, up because that Ben Swanson, Swanson hasn't forwarded along. Bad connectivity uh, up in the hills. That's right. That's right. Yeah, the uh, all the rainy weather, not good for the computer charger. Yeah, I think the hail hit it. Hit, oh. Hit the generator. Yeah. Yeah, and it was hit, what happened? They hit Google servers and they're all down. I think. All, what happened? All Google's. Down. Is that what happened? Swanson yeah, was out yeah, there yeah. at Red Rocks and the hail just <laughs> pelting me. The flannel think, protected what, like, you. Are, like about a hundred people got hurt. Right? I don't think yeah, that's that's a situation. Serious, uh, yeah, that was a situation. Swanson was fine. Storm. Yeah, Swanson was okay. I'm not laughing about that. The flannel I'm protected something else you. I'm thinking about. The flannel protected you. The huh? flannel, yeah. Yeah. Hailproof. <laughs> flannel. <laughs> yeah. That's a new model you've been working with? Uh, yeah, it's yeah. it's about half an inch thick. It's, in, <laughs> it's been in R&D for a long <laughs> yeah. time. It's kind, of, it's kind of like when they say put a blanket over your car to yeah. protect it. Put a flannel over your put body. A, put a flannel over Swanson. Oh, you got the flannel, the beard. I mean, yeah. <laughs> that was going to hurt no, this you guy. You didn't feel anything. Huh? <laughs> it's like armor. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, what were you saying? You, you should have <laughs> taken it. 
<laughs> you should have taken it off and covered the generator. That's true. Yeah. For the email, Swanson. Yeah. Right. Just let your biceps kind of take their own chance. <laughs> yeah. Would have been fine. The hail probably would have shattered just, it. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say they deflect off the biceps. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, in addition to the email. It's like Batman. It's like the Batmobile when it gets right. hit with bullets. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Same thing with the biceps. That's true. But you can also tweet at us directly on Twitter, at Eric Delal with an A, at Phil Milani with a PH. Both are uh, non-traditional. Non-traditional, I'd say. Yeah. All right. And then is there one other way? There's one other way, Phil. It's probably our favorite way, I would the say. The best way. It's the best way. We really have two weeks worth of content here to read, but I yeah. assume we're just going to do one. We really could do anything <laughs> we wanted to. So, But where we're going to go right now is uh, people can go on down to the official YouTube channel of the Denver Broncos, your Denver Broncos. Yep. Look for the, the neutral, neutral zone. zone. Leave a comment. Hit the little like button. Smash the subscribe smash button. Subscribe. But leave a comment and we'll... Uh, you can't really click just... No, you got to smash just, it. Yeah, you got to smash it. And uh, then we'll read it right here on the air. Yeah. And, and we're going to do that right now. And we did not do this last week. No. So um, let's just keep in mind Sorry. that this is, a, this is sort of a sacred part of the show. Um, Morgan N838. Out of all the currently rostered Broncos... A classic way to say that. <laughs> Whose jersey would you snag this season? Ooh. Would you, which jersey would you snag? Uh, which one would you Morgan, cop? Morgan, yeah, Morgan currently has Von Miller, Demarius Thomas, and Emmanuel Sanders. Good jerseys. Those are some good jerseys. Uh, no one currently who rostered. Who, currently rostered. Who would you get? Um, I think you got to go with PS2, right? I think so. That's, that's no, sort of no like cap. a cool one. Yeah. No cap? Yeah. <laughs> got to cop that. Cop, no cap. I'm not sure you know any of the yeah, words you don't know. you're saying right now. <laughs> they don't use that no language cap in means the country no music. Wow, you know, that's good. Yeah, yeah, it's got to be PS2, right? I, I think, think so. so. Yeah, that's like sort of like you know he's going to be here for a long time. Really tremendous player, good guy off the field. That's a good jersey, yeah. I think that. What yeah. if you're picking like Plus, a, the two looks cool? More, oh, the two's great. Two's tremendous. Maybe a more obscure one. What do you do? A Quinn Miners. Oh, I kind of no, like that. No, that's an obscure. Yeah. You know, you got to be in the know. <laughs> yeah. If you, I-Y-K-Y-K. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, that could be a good one. That could be the nameplate on the back. Just... That could be good. <laughs> yeah. The belly. Get yeah. a personalized and have it yeah, say the belly. Cut it out short. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you got to cut mid, it or no? A midriff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, I show off the pack. Yeah. Well, I didn't know if you had to cut it or if it was just going to kind of pop out anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah. You do your laundry on uh, on these, on in the hills. <laughs> All right, uh, Christopher T. Zoros, nine four three. Great show, guys. I love the stats you gave us at the beginning of the show. Bring on the Chiefs. We got a coach now. See? Yeah. See, bring on the Chiefs. See the the stats. Uh, uh, who knows if they're real? We had some nice stats last time, but Swanson was not here to confirm. Yeah, someone uh, someone called me out on the previous episode. Because I said that Frank Clark had three sacks in oh, Seattle. Yeah, you were wrong. I was wrong. I was looking at his playoff sacks. Yeah. He had he had which, plenty of sacks. Uh, which is more important, though. That's playoff true. sacks? That's true. I like playoff sacks. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you got to make the playoffs to have playoff sacks. Yeah, you do. <laughs> kind, of Burf- a, kind of a key, yeah. key detail. Burferl, Burferl, though. Burferl, though. You okay? This show is my everything. Oh, nice. This show like is that. my everything. That's kind of nice, huh? Um, a koala with the inter- within the internet. Koala within the internet. I think is the fun it. thing about this is that their name the can names. really be anything because you'll, just, you'll just read I it. I just say anything. <laughs> yeah. Koala within koala with internet, I think is what it is. With internet. With, with, internet. Within, within the, the internet. <laughs> with and next to internet is hard to read. Within <laughs> With 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 internet, <laughs> it could just be a net. Yeah, who knows? Ooh, maybe, really. it's, maybe the koala was captured. Um, I'm not really sure what they're mentioning here. Too, it says I mentioned in the last video that everyone's been saying Eric with an A could beat Hamler in a race. What? I don't know where that came from. From then, uh, it says coincidence. They didn't read comments. Dala, and then it says Dalama. <laughs> instead of Dala. Dala. Is scared, and then an emoji of a llama. I'm scared. Yeah, of a llama. Is a llama slow? Like, is yeah. that the joke? I think a llama is probably pretty slow. Oh, yeah. Swanson, fact check? I assume. Don't actually look it up. 
Then I'm not afraid to race KJ Hamler. I'd lose, but yo, did you ever say you were faster than him? No, I don't think so. Yeah. If maybe if we were running a 40 yard dash and he gave me 20 yards, I think I could probably win. You think you could do the 20 before he does a 40? I think so. I don't know. Are you already running? Are you going? I got to start. You got to start. Because he probably runs what a a forty yard dash in four, four two, three four, four two three. yeah I would imagine a little maybe a little bit slower post injury maybe. right than maybe within the four yes. okay let's say four three yeah I can probably run it in a nice uh, two? five and a half to six for a full for a full forty so I just got to carve a second and a half off but the hardest part is the, the start. start yeah 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 I think I could do it with a twenty yard head start. Five and a half seems out there. The llama, <laughs> the llama is scared. That's really uh, tremendous. According to ShangriLlama.com. <laughs> Excuse me? The llamas can run 35 to 40 miles per oh, hour. Oh, baby, the wow. llama's going to be cooking. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Kosin4415 replied and said, Llamas remind me of Emperor's New Groove movie. Of course, yeah. Parentheses, not a sponsor. <laughs> true well, thank you very Good much point. thank you much and then uh we actually had conversations with emperor's new groove about being a sponsor <laughs> they, it just yeah. fell through it, it didn't work out yeah uh and then the last one is from uh, ggg underscore 15 when should i draft jj i think that means jerry judy in fantasy oh. when should you draft jerry judy in fantasy i don't know i'm not a big fantasy person oh, I, like really? to, I like to live in reality <laughs> I don't know. Maybe like the sixth or seventh round. Does that seem Doesn't nice? Depend how many teams are in your league. Okay, I think we assume like a ten to twelve okay. team league. I guess he he's like a yeah, like a top uh, at best. Like right now, ten ten to twenty receiver, right? But if he uh, reaches his potential, maybe you get five to ten somewhere in there. Yeah, I think if you could snag, I think, could, I think if you could, you probably get him a little bit early. later this year because he hasn't done it yet. So maybe you get him in like the eighth, ninth, tenth, somewhere in there. I don't know. That's not based on fact. That's just kind of that's like, just your understanding. What I think. Okay. All right. There's been a lot of hype for JJ. That's true. Okay. And then this is going back two weeks now. Oh, so we've, See, I did now we've that. now we've got not the last comment. Maybe a couple more. <laughs> Jay Prez, Jay Prez Bronk, our friend. If Jokic had to start oh, a whole game as a Bronco, gosh. no special teams. What position would you put him at? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, what position would you put Jokic at? Like a tackle, right? Left tackle. You think so? He's is very he, strong. Is he physical? He's very really strong. strong. Long yeah. arms. Yeah, he might tall. Be, he might be, He's yeah, tall. He's tall. I don't know. I mean, where else? Well, he could be a quarterback. He's, yeah, you know, that's the only passes. other option, right? Those passes, everybody. Like he, can't, oh, he, he can't play defense. He can see over the line so easily. Swanson, so no shots, please. He could see over the line. Yeah, no shots there, please. Um, and then uh, if you want to read one more, uh, Funk's View. Funk's View says, beginning of this app started out weird, or is it just me crying emoji? Just you. Wait until they hear the start of this one. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, wait until they hear this one. Okay, well, thank you very much for all of those comments. Sorry we didn't read them last week, but uh, we're back now, and we got some great we're ones. We're back. Yeah, we got some great ones. So uh, let's dive into uh, this week's uh, topic, Eric. Sean Payton, a lot of enthusiasm about him being the Broncos' head coach. But today's question is, which player will benefit the most from Sean Payton being the head coach here. And I, I'll just say I have a surprise answer. Yeah, you have a surprise answer. So I'll go with the non-surprise answer then, and I'll start off because it's the most important one. You go ahead. Yeah, yeah. you start off. I'm going to say Russell Wilson. Wilson. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Surprise. Wow. <laughs> I get your guy. Shocking. I get your guy. Okay. Yeah, no. guy. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> um, listen, I think there's a number of guys that he's going to help, obviously, and, and that should help. Russell Wilson in turn because he's going to have better weapons to work with. The offensive line is going to play better. The run game is going to be better. But I, I think that if anybody gives Russell Wilson a chance to return to where he was in Seattle, Seattle it's, it's Sean Payton. Yeah. And I think that that's the case, not just because um, Russ has said he's, you know, he said previously he wants to work with Sean Payton. He's long admired his coaching style, but just Sean's offensive mind 
is going to design an offense that is best served to help the quarterback, to help Russ, to put them in position to score points. It's going to take pressure off Russell Wilson, I think. He's not going to have to do as much. Um, listen, Phil, for whatever reason, last year just did not work. The offensive system of Nathaniel Hackett and trying to, to mesh that with what Russell Wilson did well didn't work out. We saw week to week there were a lot of changes, wholesale changes. Um, there were things being figured out mid season. You know, should we wear a wristband? Should we not? That you feel like should probably have been decided earlier. Um, I don't think any of those details are going to escape Sean Payton. And I think you're going to find an offensive system, not to say it's going to be perfect immediately, but I do think you're going to see a system that highlights what Russell Wilson does. Well, um, I was, you know, you don't want to get too hyped up based on what you see in an OTA or a mini camp, but I do think there were things uh, that we can't speak in specifics about, but that you could be encouraged about what you saw. And um, listen, this this team, Phil, I think even if you get a Russ close to, to last season, you can still be competitive. But if Sean can get Russell Wilson back to where he was in Seattle, <clears throat> all of a sudden we go from talking about, hey, can this team, you know, have a winning record to the, the there is no limit. there's no limit yeah and you know we'll, we'll see what happens and, and we will take that a game at a time but I don't know if there's been enough attention on what the the ceiling could possibly be there's been a lot of yeah. talk about hey can Sean Payton quote-unquote fix Russell Wilson can he get him back to where he was and there's been talk about the Broncos as a potential playoff contender but not a lot about okay what if he does get the best out of him yeah what what could that mean and I really do think that uh this is a, a great situation for Russell Wilson. I mean, we spent most of last year talking about, hey, what what are the issues here? Is this more of a Russell Wilson thing? Is this a Nathaniel Hackett thing? You know, we went back and forth a lot all last year. So, um, you know, it's possible that you remove Nathaniel Hackett from that equation. You put in Sean Payton and boom, the thing starts running like how it's supposed to again. And uh, I do think that if Russ plays like, the Hall of Famer Russ that we've seen, there is no limit to to what this team could accomplish. I mean, that's how it was every year going in when he was with the with the Seahawks. You know, every year it was like, hey, if we could be a contender this year based on how Russ plays. And so, this is a talented team. There's talent all across the roster. So if if uh, Russ starts playing like that, he's accurate again. Uh, they're running the ball well. The offense is humming. Then, yeah, this team could uh, could really make some uh, waves here across the league. I think that that would be really surprising. Um, but if anybody can do it, it's Sean Payton. I mean, he's had so much uh, offensive success throughout his career. If if there's a guy who's going to be able to come in here, work with Russell Wilson, it's Sean Payton uh, to get him back on track and. Look, at the end of last year, Russell Wilson was asked about, hey, who, who do you want to have come in here? And he mentioned Sean Payton and said, look, I watch a lot of tape on Drew Brees. Uh, I know how close he was with Sean Payton. I, it would be an honor to play for him, you know. And uh, we'll have to see what happens there. And, and listen, toward the end of, if there were no signs that Russell Wilson was still still had that ability, I think you'd be a little bit more. No, but at the concerned. end of last year, yeah. At the end of last year, there were there were signs. They scored twenty eight points against the Chiefs at yeah. home. Came back obviously from that twenty eight point deficit and, and made it a close game. That until Russell Wilson gets knocked out of that game in the fourth quarter, yeah. you think, hey, we, the Broncos have a great chance of coming back and winning this football game. He's running around. He's making plays with his legs. Yeah. You know. The Broncos then uh, score 24 in Arrowhead, which has been a, a tough place historically for anybody to go to and win at yep. that time of year. Uh, you know, I think the turnovers are a thing that still needs to get oh, yeah. addressed because um, in that game, obviously, there was an interception there. Um, Some were head scratchers last year. Right. You're like, what is going on here? But I think if you eliminate those... Or even you don't have to eliminate all of them, but but some of them, you're going to put yeah. yourself in a better position to succeed. And then Phil, I I thought a lot about that Jerry Judy play at the end of the Chargers, the Chargers game, game. Yeah. where Russell is rolling to his left, throwing back across his body, fifty yards down the field on a yeah. dot. I mean, that's a throw that very few quarterbacks in the league can make. Yeah. And if you're Sean Payton, you've got to look at that and say, okay, if we can give Russell Wilson some help with the run game, if we can protect him. If we can minimize some of these plays where maybe he's running around a little bit too much or, or scrambling too much or making a poor decision and then highlight, you know, those chances to make those big down the field plays, we're going to get the best out of Russell Wilson. Yeah. And 
Russell Wilson should be a guy, Phil, if you can get back to even close to where he was in Seattle, that every week a defensive coordinator is thinking, how am I going to stop this guy? Yeah. And I still think there were times last year when you saw that, but there just weren't enough pieces around him in place. The offense was kind of, like we mentioned, a little bit of a mess. Um, so I, I really think with Sean Payton, you're going to see the best of what real, Russell Wilson can still do. And I don't know if that means if that's at a Seattle level, if that's dipped a little bit, but I, I do think you'll get whatever his best is at this point in time. I think you'll see it. And yeah, Russ, Russ is aware of what's what's on the line here this yeah. season. I mean, last year did not go the way he wanted it to go. And by all accounts, he's taken us really a serious approach this off season. I mean, I uh, talked about coming in in really good shape, ready to go, ready to attack this off season. And, uh, you know, he knows that like in Seattle, he was on this trajectory of making the hall of fame. I would think, uh, everybody would agree with that. And then last year didn't look like that. And there was a lot of pressure on him last year. And now there's a lot of pressure on him again this year. So I think he has a better idea of what to expect going into the season. And, uh, he, he, he just understands what's on the line here with his career. So he's taking it obviously very seriously. But don't you, I mean, I felt like this last year you had a first time head coach. And so if this team was going to be successful in year one, it was going to be because of Russ. Yeah. A lot of was on his Russ shoulders. Russ had to be the guy that was going to lead everybody and kind of, um, for lack of a better word, fix or, or, or hide yeah. some of the, the normal year one issues that a lot of first time play callers, or excuse me, first time head coaches go through Yep, this year. Russ doesn't, doesn't have, to, have do to do that. He has to just go play quarterback, execute what he's asked, yeah. you know, hopefully have a better run game, a little bit better protection. He's not going to be asked to do as much. And I think that, you know, sometimes when you're, when you try to do a little bit too much, it can end up hurting you. But if you and try to learn do, that, yeah, you don't want you to try to do that. too much. No. Yeah. Right. And so you think of uh, what Kevin Malone in the office, right? Oh yeah. Holding a chili if pot. If you're trying to do too much, you could spill the chili everywhere. Yeah, of course. You want to have the right amount of chili in there. Don't be just try fine. to do too much. No. Just do what's uh, do what you're do asked. Your job. Do what you, yeah, do your job. Do your job. And I, I think that Sean, you know, for as great of an offensive mind as he is, it's he's also gonna help from that area of don't worry about this other stuff. Let's not worry about the media or the pressure or yeah. feeling like you have to be uh Pete well, Manning out there. You remember that story that came out that was like, oh, Russ wants like all of this responsibility and he like wants to throw the ball a million times and he right. doesn't want to do the running game. He wants to be uh, the league MVP, you know, like that report. I, I think it was the athletic that came out. It was out a that. Seattle. A Seattle based athletic. Yeah. Was it? I think it was what it was. I think that a lot of those were the Seattle, Seattle based. based. Coming out of Seattle yeah. uh, with the athletic. Right? Curious. Yeah. Uh, that like report came out that he wanted all that. Right. And so then like you that kind of came into Denver and it was talked about around here. So if he could just sort of play within the system and you know that the results are going to come, if you just do that, I think that uh, he'll do it. And that's the most um, compelling element of this whole season, right? Yeah. Is how does Russell Wilson play? <clears throat> yes, um, of course. And you know, how can Sean Payton help him? Help him get back. So yep. excited to see how that plays out. I think I know who you're going to pick. <clears throat> no, uh, l- let me tell let me talk to you about my process. Okay. <laughs> I got a process here. I think initially I was like offense, right? Yeah. I think that just, you know, like Sean Payton, boom, offense. Elliot Fry. So then I was like, oh, he's going to help a young guy like Greg Dulcich. You know, uh-huh. that's like sort of where, that's where my, boom. like, that's where I, Dulcich. <laughs> I was about to, I was going to go there. I was like, look, this guy showed some bursts last year, but if you can just get more consistent play out of him this guy's gonna be a star but then i was like ah let me dig deeper this is let real deeper, this is real okay? time hedging to just say as many I'm, names I'm as you can deep, okay then i was like then i it's thought about Javante be, williams and jerry judy like, no then i was like it's gotta be jerry judy right <laughs> okay jerry judy so much success in college playing for a guy like nick saban okay they're almost the same kind of Peyton, coach except saban. sean payton is funnier according to uh, jerry judy they both their names are both four letters Peyton, S- saban. Saban. Just makes sense, okay? Yeah, that's He's, true. He had a career year last year. Maybe he could take even he could even just go one bit further. That's where I was like, okay, it's Jerry Judy. Yep. Then I was like, let me go deeper, Eric. I'm gonna just dig into it, and I'm gonna go with this is my surprise answer, Randy Gregory. <laughs> okay. I told you it was a surprise. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> 
Tell me why. Eric, I think Eric was surprised. I'm surprised. <laughs> Tell me why Randy Gregory is I went way deep. Okay. 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 Because I thought about it more on like a. In your brain? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought it more on like a personal level. Okay. Like the connection here. Randy Gregory is a supreme talent. Yep. Okay. But he needs like. He needs that coach who's like always on him, who's say who's like pushing him to get the most out of him, and he needs somebody who's like always constantly motivating him or like finding ways to like just really get the most out of this guy. And I think that someone like Sean Payne is going to be able to do that. And I think that we saw that a little bit last year, six games, two forced fumbles, two sacks last year for Randy Gregory uh, before he got hurt, came back at the end of the year, but wasn't quite himself there. I think with someone like Sean Payton, I think Randy Gregory is really going to be able to have a career season this year. And I think that uh, it comes from understanding the way that Sean Payton has been able to press the buttons with this team, the culture that he's developing here, the work ethic that he's going to instill in these guys, the way that they attack the offseason program. I think all of these things are particularly good for a guy like Randy Gregory. And, of course, if there's offensive success, that means opposing teams are going to have to throw the ball more, which creates more opportunities for Randy Gregory to make some plays. But I just think that I was trying to think about, like, who are the, like, guys who have this, like, potential on the team who, like, are just, like, that dude. You know, we talk about being that guy. Okay? And Randy Gregory is like one of the guys who comes up there where he's just like, we know what he's capable of, but we just need to get it out of him. Sean Payton's going to do that. Interesting. That was a surprise pick. It was a surprise pick. Yeah, I went deep. <laughs> yeah. Maybe like a little, maybe, maybe too deep. Well, huh? just, <laughs> yeah. Too deep. You think? Yeah. I overthought it. Well, I mean, I think Russ is uh, obviously that's. Uh, yeah. I thought you were going to go with Jerry Judy. Good, I Yeah. I will say this. This That's is a little a, bit of a spoiler. Three layers. We recorded some training camp previews. Oh, countdown to camp. To camp. Those will be coming out. DenverBroncos.com. In July. The YouTube page. Um, we talked about breakout players. Ooh, and I mentioned spoiler. Randy Gregory as the guy I breaking think is going to break out. Oh. Um, and so I understand the idea of Randy taking a big step forward. He's never made a Pro Bowl. I don't think he's ever had a 10-sack season. But he no. clearly has I that. Six is the most. I think he has player. that capability. Clearly, very talented guy. He just needs. I think from a, a it extracted a talent perspective, you could argue he's the second most talented guy on the defense. I think so. Well, Justin maybe yeah, in the mix there. Right. But I think yes. Justin and him are the argument for yes. who is the second most talented but player. The Broncos bring in Frank Clark. That's right. going to help take some pressure off Randy. I mean, I just think that. And, and so I, I agree that. Randy could benefit. I don't know if it's from this like motivational standpoint that you're talking about. Oh, you don't think so? I think it's more, hey, with Sean Payton, if you can score 25 points a game and not yeah. be losing every game, then help him. and you're playing from ahead, then a guy like Randy Gregory has a chance to to get after guys. I mean, we saw in that 49ers game, we saw against Houston, against um, Seattle, Bradley Chubb and Randy Gregory really get after the quarterback. And I think you could see a similar thing here where if the Broncos are able to score more points yeah. and, and it's 24-21 uh, late in the game instead of uh, the other team trying to milk a, milk the clock out, now Randy Gregory's poised to to take a yeah. big step. Frank Clark, like you mentioned, having a guy like that is going to help him on the other side. So I think it's more situational in terms of if the offense gets better, now the defense has a chance to make plays. Well, I do think that like a guy like Randy really benefits from a strong locker room, like a... a like uh, the culture of the team is such that every week you're like expected to go out there and fight and play hard for your teammates and for the, the organization. I think he's the kind of guy who's going to benefit from something like that. I almost kind of think of it like in a different way, but like with Vaughn and DeMarcus coming in, obviously DeMarcus is a hall of famer who on the other side took a lot of pressure off of Vaughn. But to me, almost in a more significant way, just him being in the locker room constantly, like keeping Vaughn on this path, got the most out of Vaughn. I think in a similar way, 
but not from a teammate's perspective, but from a coaching player re- relationship. I do think sh- sh- a guy like Sean Payton is going to be really, really beneficial for Randy. Just because so far I've seen it where like the way Sean talks and we've heard some of these things like when we're just standing out there watching practice, it's just so like detail focused. Every practice like is like sharp and like he's pushing them hard. And I think just that having that focus you're going to see like a, a guy like Randy Gregory, like get the most out of him. And then uh, even on top of that, you talk about all the injury problems that Randy's had. One of the focuses that Sean Payton's had this off season is to do a lot of preventative work right. to try and avoid some of those things. And he's brought in staff to come in here and help with that. And then also just the approach that he's taken this off season. If a guy like Randy, if, if, having Sean in place and, and the leadership he's put in place here, if that could just help Randy one, stay on the field and then two, keep him on this right path. I think you could see a lot of from Randy. Gregor. Yeah. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind that if Randy's out there, he's going to be, you know, causing havoc. It's there's about, havoc that's about causing. staying out there. Yeah, of course. Um, I do think you talk about Sean setting the tone from the very top and kind of attention to detail. We're going to work, um, you know, kind of no nonsense sort of guy. I think it then helps have Vance Joseph at defensive coordinator. Yeah, he's that a bounce. players players coach, um, a guy that people really uh, good cop bad cop. You know, really gravitate toward. Which cop are you? <laughs> bad yeah. in several ways. I'm more of like kind of like the Miami Vice sort of situation oh, yeah. is what I sort of yeah, think of myself. Think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a combination of the Miami Vice and like Dirty Harry, maybe you know, just mm, like kind of that man's man, the yeah. man's man, but also. With some style, with some oh, little bit yeah. of flash, you know. Like I, I'm definitely the kind of guy sliding across the hood yep. of the car. You know what I'm saying? The, yeah, for what car? The Ford Bronco. <laughs> yeah, slide right across well, the Ford Bronco. That That's pretty high up to get up and then oh, to get up and over. Yeah. You just go. You need something low. A little stool. Get up <laughs> yeah, there. yeah, 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 yeah. Then I'm, I'm more slide across. But I, yeah, I. A wiggle. That was across. an interesting choice. I'll say that. Yeah, I just thought, hey, what, what the heck? Let's just. Do something a, fun. Yeah, something out of left yeah. field a little bit. You'll never guess who Phil Milani said will benefit most. Correct. <laughs> that's a nice, that's nice, huh? <laughs> Maybe it'll, one of these blog sites, boom. Yeah, pick it up. Boom, pick it up, get some uh, get some pub. Yeah. Some pro pub for Randy Gregory. Be good. Yeah. But I do think that, obviously, Russell Wilson is a main focus here. I think that Russ touches the ball every play. So does Lloyd Cushenberry. Yeah, that's true. We can even talk about that's him. True. Yeah, we, a third, sir. Sir. Uh, and then I think, yeah, Jerry and Greg, I think, are also going to have. Perfect. So those are your top three. Benefits, but uh, <laughs> my answer is Randy Greg. Great. What do you think? I, it's kind of fun. It was, it, uh, it made me shock. It made me chuckle. Shock. It was shocking. Shocking. Reveal. Like Reveal. one of those ads at the zone. end of the page. You'll never, believe. you'll never guess. Yeah. Which player? Yeah, doctors <laughs> say don't do this anymore. Yeah. Coaches <laughs> hate this man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It could be nice. <laughs> uh, Eric, do you have any shout outs to get to here today? Wow, it's been a long, it's been a long, long road. time. Yeah, for some shout outs, we need some shout outs. What do you, you got, Liz Gerald? Of yeah. course. Uh, doing some nice work in the community. Yep. How about these Broncos players hosting some camps How for, for the kids? Some camps. Jerry Judy had a little camp. Yep. You know. Russell Wilson had a camp. Russell Wilson had a camp. Jonas Griffith had a camp. Excuse me? Justin Simmons. Jonas, Jonas Griffith. Griffith. Jonas Simmons. Griffith. Oh, yeah. Kareem Justin Jackson. went back. Um, so uh, those guys are doing some nice work with the kids. And then also, shout out to Corlin Sutton. He got married. Yeah. Cabo. Oh, Woo. man. You were down there? Um, I think our invite got lost. Must, yeah, yeah, something must have, must have happened with the wrong address, you know. A lot of guys. Bradley I think, Chubb, I think, was a groomsman. He was supposed to put the invitation on my desk, you and know, there, and I think he got confused. Isaac or, Yadam. I saw Isaac Yadam was there. Von Miller was there. Von Miller. They were the, yeah, all the, not Vaughn, but same draft class, right? Chuck Brandon McManus was there. Yadam. Yeah, yeah, correct. Fact check, yes. Jerry Judy was there. I think Royce Freeman was there. Oh, really? I think I saw a picture of him. I think so. Uh, Deshaun Hamilton, I think, was yep. there. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, nice Broncos. The whole contingent. 2018 Russell class? Russell Wilson was there. Basically. Kareem Jackson, yeah. David yeah. Williams? The crew, yeah, they showed up. <laughs> I, I don't recall. Was that his class? I don't remember. What are you... 
So I said, like, who is your guy? Who, who's Sean, who's Sean Payton going to help with us? Oh, I was like, what? Who was at the wedding? Uh, let me look at the roster. Okay. We don't have time for this. <laughs> <laughs> I think that generator is yeah, something. Yeah. Is it ready? Mm, I'll just say Tim Patrick. Okay. okay. Oh, sure. oh, yeah. That's nice. Weird choice. <laughs> <laughs> I just you like Tim. <laughs> I like Tim too. I like Tim. Yeah, that's a good pick. It's a good pick. All right. Any other shout outs to get to? I don't think so. No, we did a lot of sh- I are just mostly did all the shout outs. Out Jokic? Oh, no. And then, of course, what are we, Jokic. it's over. What? It's, it's over. They're champions over. forever. Yeah, they're champions forever. That is true. That's a good point, Swanson. Thank you very much. <laughs> we champions will forever. forever be thankful. Oh. You know, Eric, when you win a championship, it just ties the bonds. They're forever. Perfect. They'll always ties have the bonds forever. The ties, comma, the bonds. They're forever. <laughs> you know I love commas. Yeah. <laughs> All uh, right. Any other shout outs? I no, don't think nothing so. else. Nothing else. Okay. All right. Well, we'll be back next week. Believe it or not. Maybe I Swanson will be. It kind of depends on the Swanson's, weather. Right? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm on vacation. So. Oh. oh, yes. What's he, that? And then uh, what? You're doing a big fireworks show, right? For, you drive up to Wyoming, you got all your fireworks, yeah. you come back. Yeah. You're doing the huge. Once it loves uh, explosives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Be safe, please. Yeah. Please be safe. Ima- I'll imagine. Do my best. I can't even begin to fathom how you'd click the picture button on a camera if you blew your index finger off. Oh. Yeah. They're dangerous. I mean, fireworks yeah, are very dangerous. be careful. Dangerous. Yeah. Plus, so, there's fire danger, obviously. Yeah. So you got yeah, to be safe. You don't want to cause a, some big problems. Inter- but then also... International incident. Personal problems. You don't want to explode anything. Nope. Yeah. So I don't think so. Avoid it. Don't do that, Swanson. Okay. All right. Well, that's going to do it for us. Uh, for Ben Swanson and Eric Dalla, I am Phil Milani. You've been listening to... The, the Neutral, Neutral Zone. Zone.